some of the best racing in the world I've, I've had is, is in karting. It's, it's great fun. I still do karting today. I love it. Karting uh, changed my life. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to do something I love doing, and you know I, I hope other people will gain that experience from the sport they love doing as well. If 95% of F1 drivers started in karts, the association with the world's costliest sport has earned karting itself an elitist image it's keen to shed. At the west of Scotland Kart Club, an introductory session with equipment supplied cost just £20. Andrew Smith got involved with his son Josh four years ago. From about five years old, when my dad was just about finishing up, I had a little pedal along uh, kart, so uh, just started from there really and tried to build up a bit more speed. You just start off doing it for fun really and, uh, you know, it's like a roller coaster really. You end up, the better you do, the more you want to do and so on and so forth really. Inam and Shami Ahmed are another lad and dad combination. If their setup looks professional, so are their ambitions. I definitely want to make a career out of motorsport because it's a thing I love. Um, you can definitely make it, uh, make it to Formula 1, but uh, only a small amount of people can make it. And there's so much competition and there's so much commitment and that's what made the sport actually more and more expensive. It's a shame for a lot of people because there's so much money involved now that it's preventing a lot of people joining karting. Getting more girls involved is another priority. Katie Brown is still something of a trailblazer. There's some boys that would have the odd comment towards me as if like I shouldn't be going faster than them because I'm a girl, blah, 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 and just stuff like that. But a lot of them, yeah, a lot of them take it well. Any girl that I know who does this are like girly. It's like the, you don't see like tomboys or anything doing it and they all get right in there as well and they're always just as quick as the boys that are in it. This circuit helped launch the careers of David Coulthard and Paul De Resta, amongst others. Where champions are born is its motto. Karting is um, just, it's just the most fun thing, you know. People go and play football on weekends. Karting is a thousand times more fun. You know, if you go along, see it, enjoy it, I think you really get into it. And uh, the race craft, uh, how to deal with pressure, and really just seeing the whole spirit of how a racing event works uh, is very similar to Formula 1. But if becoming one of the world's 24 F1 drivers is hardly a straightforward career path, a learning bus helps young carters catch up on schoolwork. The championships try to avoid, um, you know, exam times and critical times. And now the MSA has introduced a policy whereby to do one of the national championship that needs a lot of time, you need to get your uh, championship application form countersigned by your school headmaster. So it's encouraging the school to get involved. And a lot of the schools didn't realise that they had British champions in, in their school. The camaraderie is as strong as the action is intense. At 60 mile an hour speeds, developing racecraft and adapting to different conditions are all part of the learning curve. Jensen Button credits his skills in the rain with the fact his father couldn't afford many wet tyres. Becoming media savvy is also taught early. So I was pretty pleased with myself coming third and Sandy done quite well and Christopher. Well done and thank you for presenting me. But if youth karting offers a tantalising taste of what it might be like to top a Formula One podium, it's a long journey to that point. John and Diane Bird have set their younger son Max on that road. Their elder son Sam is already making a name as a Mercedes test driver. But that's come at a price. We've probably spent just close to a million on Sam and then other people have spent the rest yeah. and probably it's probably overall to getting where he is today and as I say he still hasn't made it probably what five yeah. probably about five million for those who no longer chase the dream karting can still be an affordable hobby it's possible to race competitively in hard equipment for modest prices always love motorsport love the Formula One the touring cars go and watch as much as you can and it's a good sort of cheap way to get into trying to pretend to be a Formula One driver yourself. That Ayrton Senna counted his karting days the happiest of his racing career, and the fact Sebastian Vettel and Michael Schumacher still go-karting reflects its own unique attractions. Getting to the top may be tough, but getting involved certainly isn't.
Craig Slater, Sky Sports.